So I've just had a VR experience, which actually I think I wish more people could have, and I think is actually quite achievable for most people, and that is playing mixed reality games local multiplayer. Now, since I have a Meta Quest 3, and I also have a MetaQuest 3S, that is actually quite easy for me to do. It's not as simple as you might think, and I'll explain why in a moment's time. However, I think this is one of the coolest multiplayer game experiences that I've had in quite a while. So, what was it? Now, you might have seen in some of the promo and some of the trainers for these headsets is that you can do local multiplayer with people with multiple headsets. So, if you and your friend both have a headset, or in your house you happen to have more than one, uh, you can invite someone to play with you, and that's exactly what I did. I had a friend round, and we played a game called BAM! BAM! Bam. The game's called Bam. And essentially, um, it's like you're controlling a little robot. You've got this little battleground and you're trying to knock each other off the battleground or do other sorts of things. It's a relatively simple concept, but it was quite a lot of fun. Especially because I kept beating my friend in every single time we played. Because he sucks. Shoot him! But what's amazing about it is not like you're both just playing on your headsets and having your own thing going on. Um, we actually had a shared space, which means um, when we were both playing at the same time, we were both looking at the same map. And if I was to adjust the size of the map, it would adjust the size of the map for both of us, not just myself. Oh, that's so tiny. It's cool, isn't it? It's cool that you can just do that. That's epic. Okay. Now that is really freaking awesome and as much as bam i think is actually a really fun game it's not that expensive it's 10.99 well in the uk it's 10 pounds and 99 pence uh, on the meta store and i'll put a link down in the description if you want to go try it out as much as i had a lot of fun playing that game what this made me think of is how awesome is this going to be for developers uh, to make really cool awesome games and then I had a bit of a sad thought, which was that it's a shame because that probably won't happen. Now, you might be thinking, why wouldn't it happen, Sam? There's like, that just sounds like a freaking awesome thing to do. Why wouldn't they do that? Um, and I'll get onto that in a second. First of all, though, I'm going to explain how I got this set up with my friend. Now, normally, if you had your own headsets and you both had a copy of a game, uh, you could play multiplayer, whether you're with each other in the same place or far away. Um, and... As long as you have this setting turned on on your headset, which is allowed shared spaces, if you're together on the same network, um, the Quest will automatically notice that you're on the same place and it will be able to match together and you share a map. Now, that doesn't necessarily happen if you're just playing by yourself. Now, that's really all well and good. The problem I have is that he doesn't have a headset and uh, I have two. So I have two headsets with all of my details on and I have one copy of the game. And that is still... Fine. So essentially what we did, so on one of the headsets, he added his Meta account. So he created a Meta account, added it to the headset as a separate profile to my one, which was still on the headset. On my side of it, I had the app downloaded and I had enabled sharing apps across accounts on the headset, which meant that I was playing from my account on that game that I owned and he was playing on his account on that game that I owned. And that worked. If we were both signed into my profile, it wouldn't have worked, but because he was signed into his profile, I was signed into mine, and I already had the game installed on that headset from my profile, it was good. Now, that's a really com convoluted way of explaining it, but I hope you get the idea. Now, the reason why I think as good as this experience is, and as much as I feel like we need more of it, we need so much more of it, the reason why I don't think that's gonna necessarily work and developers might not put the time into making these style of games it's because how many people have more than one headset? How many people are, if they're gonna play, would they just play this game online? Would they just play it with people over? Why are you gonna go visit someone and then play virtual reality with them? And that's just not something that's so big. But then again, in my head, I'm thinking, well, none of this stuff was done a lot. None of VR was massively popular. It was really cool, but it wasn't, it wasn't like mainstream until more recently it's becoming more and more popular. Maybe this thing will make the same thing happened. The popularity of these headsets will create more games like this. And I really hope so because it was really freaking cool um, and I'd love to see more experiences. There's not tons out there that do this uh, but this is one that I think is just really good. So if you have multiple headsets in your house, maybe you have um, yourself and a sibling or um, you yourself and one of your kids both have one of these headsets 
Um, that's what I'd recommend you doing. One person needs to buy the game. You don't everyone, not everyone needs to buy the game. You need it on one account. You need that account installed on that headset, and you need to be able to download it and share the app across the accounts on that headset. And then you're golden. So guys, I hope you have a good time playing BAM. I hope you have a good time playing any other games that come out with this same feature. But it's really freaking cool, and I wanted to share it with you. And if you want more meta content, more VR content, more tech content, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Whoop!